It's a fact of life facing many baby boomers and even Gen Xers. Mom and dad are getting too old to continue to live on their own, but they don't want to leave their homes. So if somebody in your family is facing this, we have some great suggestions for helping parents downsize. Seven and a half. I have five. Would you go seven and a half? Yeah. Seven and a half, now ten. You might go ten hundred. This is no ordinary auction at this Covedale home. It's the farewell to a lifetime of accumulated furniture, ceramics, and board games. Fifty years of memories. Seven and a half and a half and a half. All done. Seven and a half, now ten, sir. Would you go ten? It's the newest trend for families trying to help parents downsize. Just too overwhelming for me. Ida Hohen is one of many baby boomers who feel helpless when it's time to move mom or dad to a senior community. You look at all the things and you think all the pots and pans and the closets, you look at the clothes in the cupboard, you look at everything and you think, I can't handle this. He'll give me about $20. So she turned to Maggie Beckmeyer of Auctions by Maggie in Cheviot. With her bowler hat and pippy long stocking pigtails, she helps children who live far away with busy jobs and lives of their own. I think one of the hardest things are the fact that the children may live out of town. So they have to trust someone to be able to do it here. Maggie's company, along with franchises like Caring Transitions, are part of a new industry called Senior Move Management. Toys do well. Toys do well? Mm -hmm. Maggie sorts, I sells, and donates what won't sell for a total cost of $500 to $1,000. It's money well spent for overwhelmed children and parents who don't want to let go. It's hard for older people to realize that they're having to give up their things. And I always tell them, you still have your memories. Remember, nobody will take that away from you. And the really neat thing is, you're going to live in all these other homes. That's what sold um, Ida. You have to do it. You know, you just, what are you going to do with this? You can't move it. And if somebody can use it, well, that's, that's good. Maggie admits many seniors are reluctant, but with the right words, they eventually let go. I did an 87-year-old woman, and I, I told her, I said, he's so thrilled with your china closet, and she got all excited because it was a happy thing. The ultimate goal, taking the pain out of life's biggest transition. And downsizing has to be a happy thing. You have to know, I think, that it's going to go and be somebody else's treasure. On WCPO.com right now, check out my report on downsizing mom and dad, which includes more tips and links to a number of companies and agencies that can help you. Also on WCPO.com, see my brand new report on who has the lowest frozen turkey prices in the tri-state. If you're buying turkeys this weekend, so you don't waste your money. Carol. All right, John.